In this video, we're going to be looking at just a couple of the new features in Logic Pro 10.2, which was announced this week. So by far and away, the headline news really is the inclusion of Alchemy following on from Apple's purchase of Camel Audio earlier this year. So Alchemy now appears in the plugin list and uh, you'll find it as just a software instrument looking like this. So the main window allows you to browse directly from a tab within the Alchemy window itself, or you can use uh, Logic's own browser to um, find content as well. And you can see that things are organized into a whole range of genres and, uh, and assorted settings, or you can browse from within the inspector over here on the left-hand side if you prefer. So having selected a sound in this list, you'll see that Alchemy will load it, and then you are faced with three windows which will allow you to edit sounds. So here's just one of the base patches and you'll see that one of the things that is available is this pad down here in the bottom left hand corner which will allow you to move through different variations of the same sound with different characteristics. So that provides an immediate way to begin to make those sounds your own. So here in the simple view, we've got an opportunity to uh, see a shortened version and see how these pads relate to the parameters they're affecting. And in an advanced view, we can go much further with editing. And the great news here is that we've got four separate sound sources, which can obviously borrow from the vast internal library within Alchemy, or you can import audio, including importing sounds from your EXS factory library. So it'll be very interesting to see whether or not this actually spells the end of the XS24 over a longer period of time, whether or not Apple consider Alchemy to be its natural replacement. You can even drag and drop audio here as well if you prefer. Now speaking of audio, we've also got one really nice improvement within the uh, Loop browser. For a start, there's masses more content in a whole range of styles, uh, musical styles, um, as well as um, expanding on uh, content which um, we've sort of had already in Logic. But within here, you'll find that when you first boot 10.2, you'll completely refresh the loop browser. If you download all the additional content, you'll find, amongst other things, some loops in a disco style, for instance. So if we select a beat loop within here and just drag and drop something onto a new audio track, one of the nice new features within Logic 10.2 is non-destructive reversing of audio regions. So you can see that if I expand the view over here on the left-hand side, I have this new reverse option. So let's hear the loop forwards. And then instant reverse. So that's gonna be extremely welcome uh, so that you can uh, instantiate reversing on a per track basis. And also to look at one of the administrative changes in 10.2, what we've now got a chance to do is to set up custom icons. So for those of you who don't like Logic's um, own icons, it's possible to go and find any old uh, uh, PNG file or JPEG and use that as a customizable icon. So you can see that this picture I had on my desktop is now being used as the icon. And we can select multiple tracks and do the same thing. So those are three of the new features. We've obviously got Alchemy, which is the standout new feature, but amongst a variety of changes to uh, audio capabilities, we've got Instant Reverse, and there are lots of administrative things too. So check out this month's producer's guide to see more of what's new.